Hello. I'm here to do my week's 20 through th bleh, 22 through 23 pregnancy update. Um, overall, I've been feeling really, really good, actually. Um, I felt probably the most energetic these last two weeks, more than I have, like, the whole entire pregnancy, which is really nice. <laughs> um, I've still been, like, impatient because that's just how I am when I'm pregnant. I can't wait for the baby to get here, so every week seems to take longer than it should. Um, <laughs> um, but this week the baby's kicks have gotten a lot harder, like to the point where I even wake up at night sometimes to it kicking really hard. Um, but yeah, so that's like really cool and I can like, I don't know, you can just feel the baby more, especially as their bones get like harder and things. So it's really cool to feel. This still makes me just want to like meet the baby even sooner. <laughs> and this week I've also been craving popcorn, which is my favorite food in general anyway, but I like usually put restrictions on myself on how much I can eat. And I've had it like way more than I normally do. It's just been tasting really good, more than normal. Um, I had a midwife appointment. It was like 23 weeks and 6 days or something. Uh, and that went well overall too. She didn't have any of the pee sticks that she usually has that like, you know, test for protein and leukocytes and all that stuff in your urine. So I don't know how that was, which I was... I'm not like too worried about it, but I was kind of hoping to find out if my protein was any better since I've been trying to like eat more protein and stay more conscious about consuming more of it to help that. Um... But everything else was fine. My blood pressure and all that stuff was fine. Um, I gained two more pounds, which I've never had like my weight go up so steadily before. It's been two pounds every month since 12 weeks. I think it's interesting. So I'm 128 pounds now. Um, and I was about that much with Britain when I was like 26 weeks. So I don't know. My my weight really fluctuated last time. Like I would lose a couple pounds and gain a bunch, and then lose a couple pounds, and <laughs> so I don't know. You just never know what the end result's gonna be. The baby's heartbeat was 148, and what else? Oh, she was asking about the gluto glucose test for the next time. I think we were gonna possibly do it, um, but I turned it down. I just don't think I have any of the risk factors at all. I didn't have any problem with it the last two times. And I just didn't think it's necessary. So we're not going to do it. Um, and she also doesn't think my um, placenta is anterior anymore. She couldn't hear it at all. Like um, She thinks it might be on the left side of my uterus, which is good to know for me. I just, I don't know, it makes me a little bit nervous having an, on like an anterior placenta, even though I know it's like really pretty normal. Um, so yeah, I was glad to hear that. Uh, one of the highlights of these last two weeks, actually, was I got to witness another birth. And this was the first time I was ever actually birth, like, not as a doula and not giving birth myself, but just to, like, watch one. And it was really a special friend of mine, um, because it was just kind of a special birth in general. But it went really well, like, God really, really blessed it, and... It was just really amazing to watch because any birth I think is super amazing to watch, but that's just me. <laughs> so that was like one of the highlights of my week. Um, what else? Oh, I <laughs> my iPod's like out of order right now, so I didn't get a belly shot up for month, the sixth month here now. So because right now I'm actually 24 weeks in like three days, I think I'm getting this up a little late. But hopefully if I can use my sister's iPod, I'll get a picture up. Because I feel like my belly's gotten quite a bit bigger since last time. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, we don't have a boy's name yet. Still. <laughs> Still have a girl's name, no boy's name. I just, I don't know. I feel like I always get to this point where I've heard every name possible. And I just don't think any of them work. But we always usually end up choosing word names for our, for our kids' first names. And they always have two middle names. One's usually a family name, and then one is like has a really good meaning, and then we just like it too. So, still gotta find that. 
Oh, and one other thing I was gonna mention is I'm not doing cloth diapers with this baby at all. I actually just sold them. <laughs> all the ones I had, because I got them with my first son August when he was like almost one or something. And my husband just hated them. <laughs> he like liked them for a while, but then when he had to like change them, he just hated them a lot. And it was kind of one of those things I'm just like, I'm not gonna like fight over this or make it a big deal, because he just really didn't like them, so. We aren't gonna do them. I would have probably kept with them if he if he would have been okay with it, but he just wasn't, so I'm not going to do them, which is fine. I still like encourage other people to try them if they want to. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's all for this week. Weeks, not too much to like report on, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I will talk to you guys again at like week twenty-five ish, or week twenty-six, something like that. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye.